Well, yesterday we introduced you to a woman who's been struggling for nearly half a year to get the unemployment benefits she is owed. She wanted help and wondered if she even counts as unemployed. Seth Kaplan has the rest of her story and tips for the rest of us. Christy Rinker, laid off in March, still waiting for her first penny of unemployment compensation. So you're saying that it's not going to work? Not sure when she'll get her money, but sure of something else. There are so many people out there who I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not. I cannot be the only one who is having this problem. So if some people at least are still having trouble filing, then as for those historically low unemployment rates we've been seeing? If they're getting it directly from a, the labor and industry, then yeah. Who knows? Who knows how accurate it is? The answer to that question at least turns out to be straightforward. No, because the unemployment claims statistics, how many claims we got, that isn't factored into the unemployment rate. Um, the unemployment rate is a monthly survey of 60,000 households across the U.S. We checked on our own with the federal government and confirmed that. The reason, according to PA Deputy Secretary of Unemployment Compensation, Susan Dickinson. Just because you're unemployed doesn't mean you have a claim. Um, so long ago, the Bureau of Labor Statistics decided, you know, using claims information isn't accurate. We can't do that. So that's why they do this uh, national survey. After all, well, look no further than Christy. And then I will be able to go in and register after you do this. But speaking of her, the day we visited her after months of little bit busy signals, unanswered emails and conflicting information, a labor and industry agent called her. They expedited it. I don't know how long that's going to take but at least they're making an effort to do that. And I appreciate that. Not long at all. The phone rang again later that day. And she um, automatically gave me 19 weeks of unemployment for the time that I was unable to file. Which you was already great. have that money. I already have it. Her theory? If I hadn't gone to the lengths to reach out to you, then I'd probably still be in the situation. So I do appreciate it. Thank you very much. The other piece of good news, Christy was in the minority. We're actually making pretty good progress and a pretty good dent in those backlogs. Of course, pretty good isn't perfect. Two tips now if you or someone you know are in a situation like the one Christy was in. First, to avoid busy signals. It is better, you know, toward the end of the day, toward the end of the week. Those tend to be the, the lower times. Or you can get help in person. Claimants can make 30-minute uh, appointments with our staff. Um, and we do that on Mondays and Tuesdays. At a career link site. We have a link to do that at abc27.com. In Harrisburg, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.